Jimmy Butler was by far their best defender. So, right, I mean, right, right. you know, but, but as you mentioned, Matt, I mean, they, they have a little separation now between themselves and the Clippers and the Nuggets. So they may get in by default, but I don't know if it's going to be a very long stay in the playoffs if, if they don't get Jimmy back before the playoffs. 27th in the NBA defensive efficiency over the course of the season. Told you pregame that Phil Chenier is having his jersey retired tonight in Washington. There it is, number 45, three-time All-Star in the 1970s with the Bullets. Phil Chenier, long-time broadcaster there, still does some games from time to time. Good for him. Awesome. Good for Phil. Yeah, great guy. And like I said, just to be there and celebrate that moment with your family. What can you say? You know, and even if you're if you're too young to remember Phil Chenier <laughs> as a player, and, and I don't remember him well as a player. I do. But, <laughs> you and well, that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yes, but it's it is it is fun to watch these ceremonies and just you can see the emotions come back and yeah. see what it means to the player. Well, of course. You can yeah. see your number go up. I mean that's yeah. a pretty well, the, big deal. the teammates come back yeah. and it's just a yeah. it's a great emotional Well experience. they're having they're, they've kind of they did a nice thing, I think. It's not just Phil getting his number retired this weekend, but the 40th anniversary of their winning their one championship in Washington. Right. So the most of that team is going to be in town on Sunday as well. They're going to have some stuff for them all weekend. It's a good job by Ted Leonsis, the owner, to kind of really incorporate the old timers and the guys that really the most successful era of they paved the way. history yeah, for, sure, that bas- yeah. for that franchise yeah, for sure. were those guys, and they're, they're making them feel like hope they're part of it again. And you have to embrace the former players. And when you think about all these guys coming back, there's no, nothing more gratifying than to see your teammates that you went to war with, mm-hmm. that you was in the trenches with, right. blood, sweat, and tears. And just to see those guys come back, it says a lot about his career and how much they love him.